Hey, I'm Jonas. In this video, I will explain and guide you through all the details of the fission maze erosion stage in Dragon Nest Sea. Now, without further ado, let's start. Fission maze erosion stage can only apply at Labyrinth 18 and above difficulty. Upon entering Fission Maze at Labyrinth 18 or above, you will see the eroded statue, and upon clicking the statue, the Mental Erosion debuff will be applied throughout the whole Fission Maze stages. In Erosion stage, your character will be confused, and you will be attacked by a claw occasionally. There are five types of Mental Erosion debuff which are, Anxiety debuff, which reduces the critical stats of your character. Next is Compulsion debuff, which reduces the critical damage stats of your character. Next is Depression Debuff, which reduces the physical defense stats of your character. Next is Despair Debuff, which reduces the magical defense stats of your character. And last is Doubt Debuff, which reduces the final damage stats of your character. Important note, the featured Mental Erosion Debuff in Fission Maze changes every month. By the time this video was recorded, the featured Mental Erosion for the month of May is the Anxiety Debuff. But you may ask that, how much stats will be reduced by each Mental Erosion debuff? This is the pre- and post-updated stats deduction of the Mental Erosion debuff in the Korea server. But there's a high likelihood that the post-update stats deduction of the Mental Erosion debuff will be the one applied to the C server. Important note, Pets with Destiny, Stable, Relaxed, Cheerful, Dependable, and Reliable stats grants a protective or immunity effect against certain Mental Erosion debuff. For example, a Legend Grade Pet with Destiny Stable stats grants immunity from the Mental Erosion Anxiety debuff. You can acquire these pets from the new Pet Evolution System. You can check the patch note from the link provided in the video description to learn more about the new Pet Evolution System. Once you've cleared Fission Maze with the Erosion debuff, an Erosion Reward Chest will appear at the end of the final stage. Upon opening the Erosion Reward Chest, you will get Erosion Fragments and Gold. These are the drop amount of Erosion Fragments in Gold from Labyrinth 18 up to Labyrinth 22. Erosion Fragments are one of the items required to get and enhance the Erosion Conqueror Dragon Jade. Erosion Conqueror Dragon Jade can be purchased from the NPC Palace Attendant Jukwaliang's Gold Lotus Crown Shop, located on Red Lotus Palace Main Street. To purchase the Erosion Conqueror Dragon Jade, you will need to have 10,000 Gold and 10 Erosion Fragments. Important Note Erosion Conqueror Dragon Jade is the replacement for the Aurora Dragon Jade. To show you a comparison, this is the stats of plus 15 Aurora Dragon Jade, and this is the stats of plus 0 Erosion Conqueror Dragon Jade. In terms of their passive ability, Erosion Conqueror Dragon Jade has the same passive ability just like the Aurora Dragon Jade. The only edge of Erosion Conqueror Dragon Jade over the Aurora Dragon Jade is that you can enhance Erosion Conqueror Dragon Jade up to plus 20, and the enhancement success rate from plus 1 up to plus 20 is set to 100%, unlike the Aurora Dragon Jade enhancement with low success rate. For reference, this is the enhancement table for Tier 1 Erosion Conqueror Dragon Jade. Once you've enhanced the Erosion Conqueror Dragon Jade to plus 20, you can now evolve it to Tier 2. To evolve plus 20 Tier 1 Erosion Conqueror Dragon Jade to Tier 2, you will need to craft an item called Purple Erosion Flower which can be crafted through the Blacksmith NPC using 100 Erosion Fragments and 10,000 Gold for the crafting fee. The enhancement for Tier 2 Erosion Conqueror Dragon Jade is not currently possible, but it will be released in the upcoming future updates, so stay tuned. Moving on, since Fission Maze Labyrinth floors 21 and 22 have been opened, these are the drop rewards for every Fission Maze stage. These are the amount of rune mana from the gold chest after you've cleared Fission Maze stage at Labyrinth 21 or 22. And these are the weekly Labyrinth rewards for completing Fission Maze stage at Labyrinth 21 or 22. Before you go, please leave a like and share it with your friends, and consider subscribing to the channel for more videos like this. That's all for this video, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the comment section below.